What's up, everyone? It's March of the Machine Day. It's a whole new mastery pass and everything. I unfortunately didn't let finish the last one. Maybe I'll finish this one. I don't know. I finished most of them. I just kind of fell off playing for a minute. Anyway, I got nine packs to open. I went to the prelease, so I got six more. Then I got the three free ones that you can claim up in your little uh, mail here. So be sure to go claim that. Anyway, let's get some cracks packing. Some packs racking. Carol crack pack. Nick knacking. All right, what do we got here? So we got the War Train Slasher. He's pretty cool. He like doubles the strengths on battles. Uh, glistening Dolge. I don't really know. Looks like some negative one counters. That's nice. Flash Enchant Creature. Make some people mill. Give some negative X on the front end. Searing Barb. Okay. What's up, Barb? Two damage. Incubate. Incubate's kind of an uh, interesting mechanic. So we're going to get some flying creatures uh, if we want them to fly. You know, with a kite sail. Pretty sure this is a, actually a an old card that's reprinted. So we got the Harried Artisan. It looks like he transforms into a flying haste. Boy, it's kind of cool. And then uh, Tiramat Chosen from Death. I pulled this in my pre-release pack in real life. He's all right. I mean, he gets some on the back end, I guess, right? And then let's see what else we got. Inga and Nesika. Okay, creatures have Vigilance. Add one mana of any color. That's pretty cool. Whenever I cast a creature spell, your more mana from creatures was spent to cast a Drella card. Hmm, that's kind of fascinating. That seems like an interesting legendary creature. I'll probably give that a shot. All right, pack number two. We're getting buck up in here. Okay, so we're getting the Converter Beast. Uh, Incubate five. That's pretty wild. Wow. Okay, uh, Lithomantic Barrage. So deal some damage. Deal extra damage if, it, if you want to hate a certain color. Um, of course, a common one. That's cool. And then haste, another target creature gets haste. That's great. We got another kite sail, of course. No big deal. Other knights get plus one, plus one. I love knights. Love to make a cool knight deck. We got another legendary creature, Raph, Weatherlight Stalwart. Uh, pretty sure he was in, I want to say, Dominaria United. Maybe I'm incorrect on that, but this is like a reprint for that. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong on that. And then we got C Double can't be copied opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard choose both copy target spell create a token that's a copy of a target creature that's a pretty sick card i could use that in real life okay let's move on to lucky number seven is this the luckiest pack of them all i don't know we got deadly desertion we're gonna destroy some stuff we got scorn blade berserker we're gonna back up some stuff we got volcanic spite we're gonna deal damage to stuff and I guess I maybe draw. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. And then uh, we're going to be able to enchant some creatures, give them ward, and get them bigger. That's a green thing. Vigilance and plus one, plus one. I like that. Core Halberd. We got a common over. Or, or is this an uncommon? Are these uncommons? Maybe these are uncommons. Whatever. And then Errant and Gaida. Or Giada. Sorry. Errant and Giada. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast spells of flash or flying from the top of your library. Hmm, okay, that's kind of interesting. And then uh, flip the last boy. We got two rares in this one. That's kind of fun. We got Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths. Menace, when he enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library and separates them into a face-down pile and a face-up pile. Put one pile in your hand and the other into your graveyard. Hmm. Very interesting. He's kind of cool. It's like, well, what do you get? I don't know. You kind of find out. All right, number six. It was a lucky pack. Number seven. I had two rares. A Phyrexian Archivist. This is pretty cool. I pulled this in the pre-release, too. Put a card from the bottom of your library. It's expensive, though. Six is a lot. And then we got this guy. He enters the battlefield. You can transform him. Target creature gets minus six. So you can give somebody negative three, negative three, essentially, unless he's bigger for some reason, counters and stuff. We got a recent trample for cycling. That's probably what that'll be used for a lot. 
It's like a late game guy, maybe. Um, return creature to the or battle from your graveyard to your hand. That's kind of cool. Okay, yep. Uh, make a creature a zero two with defender. I like stuff like that. I think it's fun. We got Nezumi Freewheeler, huh? Enters the battlefield, of course, the mill. But then when they transform. Put target permanent man about a two or less from your graveyard on the battlefield. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can be down with that. And then we get Healy on the Radiant Dawn. Oh man, the Phyrexianized God. When he enters the battlefield, return target enchantment. That isn't a god card from your graveyard to your hand. That's cool. And then transform him. I can cast cards as though they had flash. Spells I cast cost one colorless less to catch. For each card your opponents have drawn this turn. Hmm, that's pretty good, actually. I'm going to say that's pretty good, my man. Okay, let's bust out some March of the Machine. More goodiness here with the Order of the Mirror. So you can transform him. It's a knight, and then he becomes a Phyrexian knight. Uh, whenever he blocks, creature gets negative one, negative one. That's kind of cool. Invasion of Amakut. And there's the battlefield. Target player meals three may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature card in graveyard except it's four four black zombie in addition to its colors colors and types this is super freaking cool this would be a really cool card in my zombie deck i love this uh zombie card deck in real life i must say all right aerial boost well of course you got this uncommon so yeah that wasn't uncommon see the gray's difference it was the other one not this okay anyway Target creature gets plus two in flying. It's a convoke thing. That's kind of fun. And then each opponent discards a card. Um, is this a reprint? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, we saw that guy. We get the backup boy. Emoti Celebrant Bounty. Cascade. Suppose you cast a man about six or greater half cascade. This is interesting. The art on this is interesting. I've just I've not seen this one literally at all. That's pretty cool. And another C double. It's kind of a shame, but hey, not too bad either. So we're gonna get the protocol knight coming. Let you tap something. Put a stun counter on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, we got some more dinos. Well, I mean. I meant in general for magic. That's great. He can gain haste. Crazy. He can destroy an artifact or enchantment. Crazy. We got a Vigigoy. Furative Analyst. Uh, draw a card. Discard a card. Yep. Fitting Gorilla. Okay. Uh, when they die, you mill. You may exile. When you do, put target creature card. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. We got a dismal backwater. We got a new fancy dismal backwater from Mother of Machine or March of Machine. Sorry, I said Mother because it's Mom for short. The freaking Gargantua. He's a expensive. Draw two cards, lose two life. It's cool. Uh, this is a cool one. Gyruda Doom of Depths. Uh, so I did pull this exact card in the pre-release as well. It's a cool one. I, I might try to fit it into a deck. I don't know. In real life. Zergo and Ujani, uh, Flying Haste, Hexproof as long as they enter the battlefield this turn. One or more dragons deals combat damage to a player or battle. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You may return one of those dragons to its owner's hand. Hmm, that's pretty cool. An orc dragon rider. That's wild. All right, three more to go. Those are my pre-release packs. These are the ones that are given to me for the set coming out. We're going to get the Bonded Herd Blast. It can turn into a Menace Boy. Very scary looking Menace Boy. We got the Artistic Refusal. It's a counter spell or a draw spell. It's an expensive one, but you can do it with Convoke, I guess. Uh, you got a Backup Flyer. What is Backup again? Whenever this creature and put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. If, that, if that's another creature, it also gains the abilities printed below. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Knight of the New Coalition, whenever he enters, create a 2-2 white and blue knight creature token with Vigi. Love it. I love knights, man. We got a tenured oil caster. This They're putting some more knights in here, what, because of Eldraine coming up? After uh, the um, Lord of the Rings set in real life. Okay, yeah, I drafted this one too. It's an okay card. It gets a little buff when they have 
a bunch of milled cards. Okay, so we got a battle. Um, when it enters the battlefield, target player sacrifices a creature or plague walker and loses life. That's kind of cool. And then at the beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one counter on this guy. If a permanent was put in a graveyard from the battlefield this turn. Man, these are, that's a super cool one. And Emery Lurker of the Lock. This spell costs one color. It's less to cast at each artifact. For each artifact you control. Nice. When they enter the battlefield, meal four. Okay, cool. Choose target artifact in your graveyard. You may cast this card this turn. Dang, buddy. Casting artifacts from the graveyard. And we got a rare in general that I could just purchase or whatever. All right, the Jungle Hollow. We got a new Mom Jungle Hollow. Very cool. The Scorn Blade Berserker. We got the Serpent Blade Assailant. Backup Death Touch. Give a guy Death Touch for a turn. Kind of interesting. If you could cast it with Flash. Ooh, buddy. Uh, Akai Scramp Hopper. Okay. Sacrifice something. Get a well, Artifact or Land. Draw a card. That's cool. We got some more Scoured Barons. It's a cool looking Scoured Barons. I'm into it. The Skyclave Aerialist. Transform him. When they transform into Skyclave Invader, look at the top card of your library. If it's land, put it on the battlefield. If you didn't put a card in the battlefield, put it in your hand. That's pretty cool. Invasion of Alara. When Invasion of Alara enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until exile two non land cards with mana value four or less. You may cast one of those two cards without paying their mana cost. Put one of them in your hand, then put the other cards exiled this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Ah, that's a pretty cool one. So when Awaken the Maelstrom, when it transforms into that, it's all colors. Target player draws two cards. You may put an artifact card from your hand onto the battlefield. Create a token that's a copy of a permanent you control. Distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three creatures you control. Destroy target permanent and opponent controls. G mini crystal myth. Okay, that's a wild, powerful card. And then we got Skitherix, the Blight Dragon. You know, kind of funny I pulled this one, because uh, I pulled this in the pre-release as well. He's pretty cool. I like this guy. He's going to be a nasty meanie boy, if you ask me. He can have haste. He has infect. He has flying. He can regenerate. He's nuts. All right, of course, the Furative. And fur Furtative? Furtive? Furtive Analyst? Whatever. Invasion of Kawigama, uh, target creature and a tap target creature and opponent controls and put a stun counter on it when it deals combat damage to a player. Draw a card. It's flying. Two, three, little merfolk ninja. That's kind of cool. We got a common. We got the etched host doom bringer. When he enters, our opponent can lose two life. I can gain two life, or I can pick a battle. And if an opponent protects it, remove the defense counters from it. Otherwise, put three defense counters on it. Hmm, that's kind of cool too. You could. He's kind of a cool card for a common. I mean, I guess he is a five drop. All right, Realm Breakers Ghast. Uh, Enchanted Permit. Can't attack or block. It's activated abilities. I love cards like this. Scary mean. This is great. More white. All right, we got an uncommon over here. That's pretty cool. We got the Arc Priest of Shadows. Backup. Going to give him Death Touch with that. For a turn, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or battle, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Very nice. Like that guy, actually. Human Warlock. And we get Horobi, Death's Whale. A flying Spirit. Whenever a creature becomes a target of a spell or ability, destroy that creature. <coughs> That's scary, buddy. I'm into that, too. All right, well, that is my pack opening for the day of all nine new Mother of Machine packs. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, come hang out. I'm going to play some of those new legendary creatures I got in Standard Brawl. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Give yourself a like and subscribe if you have your own channel. Tell me about it. Love to. Talk to you later.